This is day four and I actually got fed up with the moxie in downtown Athens. It was a slum and we moved hotels to the Marriott which is in the outskirts of the city closer to the harbor and this is what the room looks like. Once you enter the door to your right you've got this closet system with a safe coffee tea this one actually has coffee and tea the other one did not you got a refrigerator this door does not open but this one you've got an iron and an ironing board uh, you've actually got closet space with bureaus down below and you can fit two luggage here which is nice and then to your left of the oh you need to put your card in to your left is the restroom they have these floating toilets here in Greece I don't know why it's a nice size bathroom nice size shower we don't know what the water pressure is yet. And this one actually has a towel bar. <laughs> and I couldn't believe the other hotel did not have a towel bar. Absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> King size bed. And there's more room in this, in this hotel where you actually have a real desk. The other one didn't have a desk. Ridiculous. You got a, we have a sofa here. <clears throat> we got two glasses of, two bottles of water. And then we got this snack thing. I, we don't really know what it is yet. It's still plastic wrapped. These look like the, baklava. That looks like baklava. That looks like Turkish delight. Oh. Have no idea what that is. It looks is. like dried fruit. And those look like chocolate balls mm. with something on them. Yeah. Okay, the rooftop is really nice. The, the little wicker thing up there, that's where the pool is. We're going to have dinner up there because they have a dim sum. And that's the lifeguard to the pool. Just walked out. We had lunch up there, which was nice. I had a hamburger and Walter had... Souvlaki. Souvlaki. I don't really know what that is. I had chicken Slovaki <clears throat> this time. I previously had pork Slovaki and beef Slovaki. So now I've had all three. <clears throat> and I don't care for lamb, so I won't be having the lamb Slovaki. Okay, so it's a good size room. We like the room. <clears throat> and the outside, it doesn't smell like piss. Every time we left the hotel at the other place, it smelled like piss. And it was worse this morning because there was a light rain last night that brought up all the dried piss. So it was really bad this morning. And I was having an emotional breakdown because of the smell. I was not very happy. So much happier now. So much happier now. Okay, because of the graffiti, we are here at the Acropolis. We're gonna walk up this very large hill. It's gonna take us about an hour. And apparently there's kiosks up there where we can buy tickets. We are starting our climb. It could take all day. I don't think these are the original steps. I don't think so. It's not worn down enough. For 8,000 years, it's not worn down enough. <sighs> Do you know where the toilets are? Yeah. <laughs> down the stairs and in your left hand. Left, okay. Down the stairs. Right, thank you. She says the elevator is closed right now. Oh, elevator later. Oh. Are you guys gonna go this way? Are you? Well, we're disabled. Oh, we're disabled. Yeah. Right, yeah. Let's see. 
This way, this way. Scan here. Go, please. Oh, dear Lord. This is old. <laughs> yeah. This is several hundred years old. Imagine if it was raining. I see that old. That old. It looks like it's still used. And look, there's people weeding. You see the people weeding? Good. I'm picking up trash from last night's concert. Oh. it back together. They weren't doing that 35 years ago. 40 years ago. <laughs> okay, stand right. Stand right there. Of Nike, mm -hmm. which is a brand people are now boycotting. I think it could be more accurate if they used a computer to measure it. I don't know why they just don't scan it. That's incredible. And the restoration they did uh -huh. originally between 1900, 1900 and 1930. They used steel rebarb. Right. And they actually ruined more than they actually preserved. Right. Because the steel rebarb rusted. What joke? Create a wall? It's a Greek joke. Oh. Why are the pyramids in Egypt? Because they were Egyptian? No, because they were too heavy to transport to Greece. Another photo? <laughs> Let's see, that's a little bit interesting. We walked through that. Yeah, but you can't... Oh, this is a nice photo. But I wasn't bothered by it. 
No, they're working on the exterior. So that's good. All right, no, they're exterior. They're working on the interior. Oh, actually, they're doing All right, for those that don't know, red poppies grow only where there's blood. But it could be animal blood it or It could be blood. any kind of blood. <clears throat> We learned this from the World War One Museum. I go stand behind them. We're gonna leave here and have lunch. Yes, actually we are. We're gonna walk down to where we yelled at that flower girl. I don't think she'll make the same mistake twice. Well, you can really see it from here. Oh, the construction? The, yeah, the white. The frame, the wiring. <clears throat> the white marble versus the yeah. original. That's fabulous. Well, this is a once in a lifetime. This is one of those, for me it is. For you, this is two in a lifetime. Yeah. But this is the last time. This is the last time? For me. Oh. I just want to stand there and go like this. He wants to photobomb people. I just don't feel like this is very authentically Greek because there's no graffiti on every wall and column where everywhere else in Greece you have graffiti on every wall and column that's yeah, available. That is true. So I think that they should do something about that and either clean up all the other graffiti or let this be completely graffitied so it could be consistent. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, one moment. I love her. <laughs> oh, different pictures. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Catherine, that, this, that, every angle. You two are so funny. Because we, we have different viewpoint of what the one they get seen. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> There's more, there's more. Yeah. Uh. That way. <clears throat> well, now everyone's going to laugh. I'm like, what the frick? You pick a direction. <laughs> well, we must have go forward. <laughs> oh, no, that's it. That's a scam. It is. It's cute, though. It's a scam. Oh, you want money for the picture? I get that. It's a scam. It's a scam. That's, that's worth money to take a picture with. Oh, it's a scam. You know what? The ones in Vegas leave me alone. Really? They don't. They, they don't even approach me. And this takes us to. It takes us to restaurants. To restaurants. Okay, so let's go to a restaurant. People aren't going up there now. Yeah. What? There's like three. 
There's a million people up there. <laughs> so do you want to go the same route? Do you want to try one of these restaurants? There's only one block. Yeah. And then it runs out. What do you want? I'm having clams. Uh, and Walter's having pork Slovakia. Pork Slovakia. I don't even know what Slovakia is. It's just wonderful food. Do you want any of this? Okay, what do you want to do? You want to walk around? Back to where... Oh, you bought spoons too. Oh, I bought spoons already? Oh, okay. Yes, you did. What time? About uh, probably five in the morning. Oh, okay. yes. Thirty-five or okay. Okay, okay. And what time does dinner start? It's starting. It's not well now. After the breakfast, it's open. Oh. Or you can have dinner anytime. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Walter and I both ordered the pork belly, and a bit of rice, and asparagus. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking hot tea and water, and the bread is good. We are at the BA Club and I am so nauseous. The cab driver that drove us here drove on his brake. And I'm very seasick right now. Horrible. All right, so again, we're at the BA Club. This will be my last time at the, ever, my first and last time ever at this club. So this is what it looks like. Why it will be my last time is I'm never coming back to Greece. This is a third world country. And I'm not coming back here. We're at E1. I am. I don't know what. What are you in? Thank you so much. What's your seat number? I am in 1F. 1F. The new configuration for British Airways. So much better than the old configuration. Actually, it is because the old configuration was front and back. Oh yeah. This facing way we're back, both facing backwards. Yeah. This way we're both sitting frontward. Uh, and we can close this if we don't like each other. Yes. Right now I'm not doing well. Uh, I think I'm going blind. Uh, I got hit in the eye with a newspaper and I'm really in pain right now and you get a little private door that they shut the only thing I don't like about this is that there's a shoulder strap and I can't wear it I can't I can't wear the shoulder strap and regarding the shoulder strap and regarding the shoulder strap they only ask that you wear it during takeoff and landing I can't wear but it Ariel can't wear it at all because of medical reasons. So he's exempt, but I have to wear mine during takeoff and landing, which I can handle. And uh, we hit the seat lottery today. We managed to be in row one. That was kind of cool. Yeah, they, they don't have first class anymore. They just have business and steerage. And it doesn't look like that many business seats. See? Uh, so it's going to be 40 seats. 40 seats? That's not a lot. Yeah, it's 40. The menu. We're going to have smoked salmon, potato soup, and chicken. Probably going to be dry. And then the apricot souffle. And then for the light meal, I don't know what a courgette is. 